Hello, peoples. So, my garden has expanded. And I want to show you guys what I've been doing. It's been really odd. I've been doing a lot in the mud. It's been raining a lot over here. For us, it's a lot. And I've been, built a new garden. And I want to show you. That's what it looks like. So, let's get over here in the street. Still got a pile of gravel to do, deal with. Let's see how the... I've been killing off my lawn for the last year. Because I had a lot of problems with crabgrass. So, what I decided to do is I wanted to build a, like a porch. Like a, um, at the front of my house. And this isn't quite done, but I'm getting there. And I used these log, this, this um, kind of uh, system that I'd used with my strawberries in the back. That's these bricks. Then you pound them in and structure them. See, here's got a pipe in there. When you pound them in, you have to dig them into the ground. You have to dig them way down into the ground. And then I got these boards for nothing almost over at Home Depot. They were on clearance, believe it or not. And then you just put them in. You just slide them into these slots. Like that. Da, da, da. Super simple. So I've got to get enough compost out here, which is going to take forever because I need so much. And I don't want to buy it. I want to just keep making it. So it's going to take a long time to fill these. I put this one with, with uh, succulents that I had just extra laying around. And Mark is putting sunflowers back against here and gladiolas so they'll grow and i've just been throwing my compost out in here <laughs> let it grow so it looks like this and about flagstone and i've been putting them down they're not all completely down over here on the right hand they're not they're not completely down yet i have to dig them into the ground and then i have a table that i've got to fix which is why it's upside down the birds have been having a field day over here right there and this is a little area that I've transplanted. I really want to do this on the low down as far as price. So I've transplanted mostly plants from my garden. And I do have some solar lights. i got to get some more. But they, I want them to match. So they, I bought everything they had, which is two. And these are, I cannot think of what these are called. And I'm trying to remember. They're purple. And they're just growing wild in my backyard. And they have a lot of, they grow kind of in the shade a little bit in the back. So I haven't had a lot of problem with them growing back there wild. So I brought them in here. They're volunteers. And then you can see there's a few daffodils. I, um, I had, I did buy some bulbs. I bought some daffodils and some tulips and some other sort of bulbs for spring. Yeah, it is nice, Carmen. Um, I haven't used it yet, so it's not quite relaxing yet for me because I haven't quite used it too much. But, oh, maybe I'll get a pizza today and have it out here. That'd be nice. And so this has got sunflowers back in here planted. And then I've got some poppies in here and I've got the daffodils and things. And these are purple. These are all purple. And I can't think what they're called. I'll find out whenever they get here. And I just transplanted, like I said, some things in here. I've got lots of succulents. So this will be just a new hangout area. I was going to stop at the house right here and go across. But Mark said, why don't you put another one back? And I did. So we've got this extra area here. And of course, there's things out here that shouldn't be here right now because of the, uh, because I'm still working on it, like the wheelbarrow and stuff. But a lot of these plants were in my backyard. I've been working on them for a long time, hoping they would... Um, get him ready for whenever we do did do something with this and this I made see but the, part of the reason why I want to do this is this wall gets a lot of sun and the sun hits it and it gets into the stucco and it's really warm back there for a very long time look I still have tomatoes from last year cherry tomatoes look at that so the sun comes in here these, these are some kind of purple. They grow a purple thing on them. 
got it from Janine Denoma up in Oregon. So they get really tall. But the tomatoes, see the, the plant, the wall gets really warm. It's really warm. And then the tomatoes are like, yeah, baby. Grow, baby, grow. Here's some more. These are from last year. And so I wanted to have an area to grow my tomatoes out here in pots. Here's another tomato. Look. Still a baby, itty bitty, tiny baby tomato on there. So they, so <laughs> this is an avocado that just happened to grow in my compost pile. And that way I could grow tomatoes out here in pots and it'd be easier to maintain and then nice and warm and then grow all year round. But I didn't like the way it looked visually from people in the street seeing it. I thought it looked kind of icky. So having this patio will make that better. And I want to be able to sit out here and do jigsaw puzzles. I really do. I want to sit down here on my table and, and do jigsaw puzzles and talk to the neighbors as they go by. And here, <laughs> it's been funny because all the neighbors keep going by going, and looking <laughs> like, what, wait, what? But this was a barbecue pit that I took and I took the barbecue pit out of it. It wasn't working, it wasn't working any good. And I made a, a table like out of it. Let's see, so I made my, use my broken tile and put it on there. And it would be perfect for barbecuing. Well, I wouldn't want to barbecue back out in the front yard. That would be too much probably, but it could. So let me show you my next project. In the front of the house, just out here a little bit, I want a, a free library. I love those. I have a lot of books and things to give away. And I still don't know what I'm doing out here. This is just like, I have no idea yet. I have some citrus I'd like to plant. And this is going to have some bougainvillea growing up here. Like I planted here, but I haven't decided if I'm going to put uh, another one of these like low flower beds in here or not raised flower bed so I just put that in there for now but this gives me extra parking and oh so I was talking about a free library so here's what I want to do I have a lot of books and things I want to give out I just love free libraries so I built this structure long time ago, well, a few years ago, this paint, it's like a rubberized paint. It's for, for, um, for, for, um, you know, like a barrier for wet. So it'll last a little longer. And then what I've done is I've got a floor I'm going to put in there. I'm going to put some holes in it. And then this is going to become a plant this will become a planter, and I'm going to put a big tree-ish kind of thing in there. I'm going to put that out on the curb, and I put cement board on the sides, and everybody who knows me knows cement board equals tiling. <laughs> I love to tile. So then these, then on the sides here, this nice st sturdy two by fours. I'm going to put a I'm going to put in a, I'm going to make a um, mini library. I'm going to probably make several because I want one for kids and I want one for adults. And I might even make a third one that's for like a general like stuff to give away like tea, bags of tea or post-its or, you know, just stuff that I have around the house. So the tile, I get to do four different sides and I have this nice big area to tile on. Look how much room that is. And so here's what I got. I, again, I want to use stuff that I have already around the house. And I want to spend a bunch of money. So here's what it will look like. I bought, I went down to the local mercantile, which is where people get, donate stuff. I found all these little tile ends. They're perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them like this. And then I'm going to um, fill them with white grout around the outside and then I'm going to use a dark color and bright colors of other broken tiles and fill it in around the outside and then I'm going to probably say something like um, maybe read or 
I don't know, whatever fits on one side, and then another side will say um, Lier, which is like to read in Spanish, and the other one might say um, learn or something like that, and it'll go here. And I have four sides to do that in. Isn't that fun? And as usual, I'm making in this up as I go along. And I bought, I did buy these because they were like $3. I, I think I spent $5 on all these tiles. But I have a lot of, so these are going to be broken. These aren't going to be like this. I'm not using it like that. I'm going to be breaking these. And then I'm going to use a dark color in the back. And the white tile, white tile and the white grout here. So it'll look like my, my five I made. Let me show you. Should should do when it was out here. I made this, I think, last summer. It'll be like this. See, so it'll have it'll have something written in white with a white grout, and then a dark grout and bright colors. And so it'll be something like this. If you look at it really close, you can see it's all broken plates. This is a plate. Uh, broken. Here's another bowl. It was a broken pot or something. Here's another plate. So these are all broken pieces. They're not all flat, flat. This is the bottom of a plate. If you look at it up close, you can see it's not perfect. It's just kind of whatever. I save all my old tile, broken plates, broken pots, anything that's ceramic. And then I do stuff like this. And I'm recycling them. All kinds of stuff. But you can get them at the mercantile like I save. So that's my newest project. It's this out here. It's going to rain this afternoon. It's going to rain for a few days. So I'm going to consider this done for the moment. I've got to move the last of the pea gravel. It was three tons of pea gravel. It's almost all moved. My abs feel amazing underneath all my fat. But <laughs> I got to move all the last of the pea gravel. I'm not sure where I'm putting it so I can get rid of, put the wheelbarrow all away. And then I have to continue filling these down here so that I can um, fill them up enough to put plants. Because obviously I'm not quite ready yet. And like I said, I don't want to buy any. I don't want to buy any soil. And I've looked and, and tomatoes are not ready yet at the stores. You can't get tomatoes. But I will be. I can plant tomatoes at any time. Because they're nice and warm. Okay. I just wanted, I've been taking lots of pictures. But, you know, it takes a video almost to get these to, to show people what I'm talking about. Because pictures don't really do justice. But I might try something. Take care, everybody.